In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to send uh, Facebook leads to Murik using Facebook apps and the Murik API library. Um, in your uh, Murik root folder you need to install the API library, Murik API library, and you're going to need the platform.php and webhook.php. Um, for me I already installed all that. I use the API library and uh, I put the two files in Facebook folder and uh, here they are open together. Um, first we're gonna create a, a Facebook app. Let's do that. Uh, my app one, whatever you can name it, whatever you want and uh, choose apps for pages create uh, can it be the same way is that a v i think it's a v b u j submit and we uh, choose webhooks get started now go to settings and we have to add the domain of our of our Murik uh, instance here, Murik dot com, and you have to add the platform website, Murik, go and save changes. And we're gonna need the app ID here to uh, subscribe the webhook. Uh, we're not gonna do it through Facebook uh, UI, but we're gonna do it through uh, Graph API Explorer. So make sure you choose the application here that you created, and a token for that. Get the token for that application. And here we paste the ID of the application slash subscriptions, and it's gonna be a post request with four fields uh, object, which is page fields. Uh, uh, verify token and the value we're gonna write here should match um, the value that we have here in webhook uh, th this one so whatever you write here it should be here too so I'm just gonna use the same thing ABC 133 and we need a callback uh, URL. This is the area where we want to send the, the data, and it's gonna be uh, the URL of our uh, webhook. This this uh, this uh, script. I uh, just have it here. I'm just gonna copy it, paste. Okay, and make sure it's a secure uh, URL. Otherwise, it's not gonna go through, and you're gonna get an error from uh, Facebook. Okay, and then submit. And if it, if everything is good, you're gonna get the success through. To make sure uh, we got it right, we go back to the application with hooks, and you should have it here. Okay, there you go. Okay, and uh, next is uh, to subscribe our application to the page we uh, created our lead uh, for uh, our form and um, in my case here I created the lead in uh, one of my pages so I'm gonna go to uh, um, subscribe to it to do so you need the application ID again let's go to settings and then get the application ID and we have to paste it in platform 
.php over here. Let's delete this one. Okay, save the file. And then we go to uh, the URL, the platform.php. Okay, and log in with Facebook. And get the permissions. Okay. Now this is the this is the, our my uh, Facebook pages and the one I I did the uh, create a, a form and is this one this this contactaholic I'm just gonna click on it and it should say success true that means I'm I subscribed to that uh, page to make sure you can copy this copy the page ID and go back to graph and then this time it's gonna be a git and you paste this and it's gonna be here it's gonna be subscribed apps and make sure to get the page uh, access token so I'm gonna choose that one and then submit uh, something is not right here let me try it one more time there we go. <coughs> you see that my app is uh, subscribed here to uh, that page. So next thing we need to do is get this uh, access token, copy it. Uh, before you do that, this this access token is gonna expire in uh, one hour. So to make it uh, to extend the life of this uh, access token you can click over here and open an access token tool and we click over here extend access token when you click on this it's going to generate another uh, access token copy it and you can paste it here uh, over here so for me, I didn't do it just because I want this to expire in uh, after an hour, so nobody use it after this video. Okay. Um, the next thing, okay, and save this, save this, and uh, the next thing we have to do is create our uh, API keys in our modic so first we need to enable the API API uh, settings enable yes save and close okay and then we click on settings and we choose API credentials, new, and we keep it uh, the same way. Let's name it the same uh, thing we named the other the other application. And uh, this link should point to. Um, that script to this script okay um, save and close now we copy the keys and uh, we paste them here uh, there you go security over here So, for the callback URL, it should be the same. Let me just copy it from here. And the base URL should be your Mudic URL. Okay, and then we save this. Now, let's authorize this uh, uh, application to use the API. So we go to um, the webhook script. Oh, 
Uh, before we do that, I have something. I have a test here to validate uh, lead before calling Moodle API. We just need to comment this one for now. And save. Okay, we do it again. Okay, and we accept. Now we have this data, we copy it and we save it in, uh, in webhook so we don't have to reauthorize every time uh, we make a request. So it should be here, access token is here and uh, refresh token should be here and expire over here. Okay, now everything is good. Now we can uh, and comment that test here. And save everything. Okay. Okay. Uh, now let's try if this works. Go to lead as testing tool um, and uh, you choose the page you uh, did subscribe to. In my case it is Contraholic. And I already have a, a form that I created in one of the ads I used. So let's delete any lead we had before and create a new one. Okay, and we check if it was sent to our page. Okay, it uh, it's done. Here is the information sent to our page. Now let's see if um, the test was created in our Moodle or not. Go to contacts and here we go. You can see that uh, that test was created here using the API. Um, that's it. This is the, the, the steps I took to, uh, to do it. One thing I uh, had a problem with is um, the API as uh, this this access token is gonna expire in uh, an hour um, I don't know if there is a way to make it not expire or to generate uh, one that doesn't expire uh, this is something that we need to look up in uh, um, Merdic API alright thank you guy uh, have a good one